Hey guys, Eamon here, back with another rugby video. We're going to be checking out Baki's Botha. Baki's Botha, I think is how you say it. He was recommended by Oc Octurf, Annie Kirk, and William Slaughter. Uh, I saw, there's probably more comments about them, but yeah, those are the two I, I noticed. That, um, yeah, uh, people were telling me he was kind of like the, for Ed Smith, uh, this guy was like the enforcer of the team, kind of, he kind of passed the torch to Ed Smith. So we'll, we'll take a look at him, see if, see the similarities, see if, see how much he taught Ed Smith, I guess, about being like the, the enforcer of the team. And, uh, yeah. Um, and yeah, if you're not sub to the channel, make sure to sub. Been grinding like crazy with the videos and yeah, it's been awesome having you guys around. So the more the merrier. Yeah, and if you're if you're new here, we usually go on Wikipedia first and look up the player and or the team that we're doing and just kind of get some general info before we hop into the highlights and stuff. So we'll do that now. Yeah, so we got Backies Botha, John Philip Botha, uh, nicknamed Backies. Okay, Backies Bakies. Yeah, hopefully I'm saying that right. Um, okay, South African. Yeah, da, da, da. he played as a lock. Okay, let me remind myself what that is. I believe that's like. Yeah, it's the same as Esmith, right? Locks from the second row with the number four lock on the left, number five on the right, okay. They scrummage by pushing into the front row, they're by fighting much of the power, okay, yeah. The engine room, yeah. They're almost always the tallest players, the primary targets when the ball is thrown in, yeah, okay. Yeah, so they got, they're the guy that gets like, yeah, do, yeah, they bind tightly together. Yeah, they commonly make short runs, carrying the ball into contact, yeah. I remember that with Esmith, they were like, yeah, they're, yeah, they're like the, the gritty, like, they're just in everything, kind of super physical and all that, yeah. All right, so that's good. Um, he member of the South Africa team that won the World Cup in 2007. He won two Tri Nations titles, and then he played for RC Toulonne in the top 14 to do, and he won two titles. Oh, no, he won three titles in the Rugby Champions Cup. Okay, is that like? Is this like a? Yeah, okay. It's like it's like all the, the pro leagues in Europe, kind of the winners play each other, kind of type thing. Similar, I think like they do that in soccer too, right? They have like a tournament like that. I forget what it's called though. Um, like the Champions League or something, I think is what it's called in, in soccer. Yeah. Botha became widely associated with fellow international lock Victor Matt Feld Field for the highly successful on field partnership with the Springboks. Okay, so there was like two of them, number four and number five together, where like they're like a duo kind of. Uh, okay, let's look at his size. Um, six foot seven, 273 pounds. Jesus. So yeah, similar to. I guess they're all. All, all the locks are usually going to be that size, but yeah, it's massive. Appraisal. Whilst known as a very hard player, his disciplinary, disciplinary record was actually not unusual. Okay. So he wasn't actually considered like dirty, like he played by the rules. Just He was just really good at his job and was hard. Uh, regular said in greatest sides ever, and the coach said he was the greatest player ever coach. Okay, so he's like, if people are making their all-time rugby lineup, basically, he's like, he'd be on it. For the most part, best voted number in 23 is the best number four lock to ever play. Time he was one of only two players in the best XV still playing. Okay, yeah, the, the best the best 15. That's like a they did, they did like a yeah, it's like a greatest of all time team thing that they announced. I guess at, at one point, the only player in the history of rugby union to date to have won a hat trick of Super Rugby and European titles. Okay, so that's three. It's two, Super Rugby is the, that's the New Zealand league, right? Yeah, interesting. Okay, so he played in, for the New Zealand team, and then he went to the French team. New Zealand League and the French League, okay. As of 2019, Botha runs a butchery business in South Africa called Baki's the Butcher. <laughs> that's funny. All right, yeah, so that's good. That's good info. I guess we can just hop into the video. I'm excited to see this. I'm sure it's going to be similar to similar looking video to Xbeth, but so this video, this is the only video I could find that wasn't blocked on YouTube. So it doesn't look like, oh, actually, no, it has a lot of views, 600k views. Uh, this guy doesn't look like he does he make very many videos. Yeah, he does a, bit, a little bit Yeah, but yeah, I guess should this guy some love sub to him and like the video if, if you like it um, Hopefully this video is good though. I'm assuming it's gonna be it should be pretty. Yeah, so we'll, we'll hop into this in a second right, Let's see what this guy's all about uh, The world he's been respected doesn't say much but produce on the day the one player our most respect in, in South African rugby was Bakun okay. Spoleta. The prototype of what the full lock in world rugby should be and how he should play. He went into yeah. that enforcer role. There's no guy in nice. the world that can clean a ruck, you know, more than Bucky's good. He'll go down <laughs> as one of the best locks South Africa in the world that yeah. had. He's a special player. Nice. I like his, I guess, how they show people talking about the play. The Enforcer, Baki's Botha. Born as John Philip Botha in Newcastle, Botha, okay. Natal on the 22nd of... Let me, let me repeat that. How do you say it? Born as John Philip Botha in New... Botha? Botha? 
Born as John Philip Bote in Newcastle. Bote? <laughs> I feel like I'm saying that wrong, even though I'm hearing it over and over again. Born as John Philip Bote in Newcastle. Bote. Bote. I'm probably butchering that. Castle KwaZulu Natal on the twenty <laughs> second of September, nineteen seventy nine, but known simply as Bucky's. This Back two meter Bucky's. giant will forever be known as one okay. of rugby's greatest locks. Bota started his provincial career at the Falca, but two years later he would join the Blue Bulls. The combo the Blue was born. Bulls. That's a wild the combo. name. How did that name come about? Yeah, it's just from. Oh, here's the. Okay. Together, this this is the guy that is doing If you take the Bulls and the Blue Bulls as well. So, um, yeah, it's a combination. Uh, he knows my weaknesses. I know his weaknesses. Yeah, it's so that's funny. Awesome. I think in the last test, I still too. have to tell God him before damn. every scrum, every line out, Bucky's second rock, you must do that. Bucky's <laughs> third rock, that's it. And he just look at me and say, thanks, Combo. And then he goes, and I know he'll <laughs> sort that out. It was 2001. We, uh, we got together at the Bulls, the new structures of. Heineke arriving there and I arrived from the Falcons, uh, my first union before I went over to the Bulls. Uh, but uh, actually, I didn't see Victor actually the first month, month or though because he was uh, already part of the Springboks and I wanted to be there where Victor was already in the Springbok mix and in, in, in the squad. After playing in the under-19 and under-23 national sides, it was only a matter of time before he got called up to the Springboks. He made his debut okay. against France in September 2002. The enforcer nice. showed immediately what he was all about, imposing himself on the opposition, sometimes illegally. Well, Bucky's Bota has been sent to the Sinbin for 10 minutes. You heard the referee <laughs> saying there was an unnecessary knee in there. And the, the situation now where... This is a cool video. It's like an actual, like... I must have to look at his Wikipedia for this the game with immense physicality always pushing the boundaries i've got clear memories of him blowing a kiss and mike phillips and his <laughs> blue eyes and <laughs> ones like uh, i remember john uh, was captain at, at the stage and um, the ref came to uh, to buck uh, to john and he said to to him bucky's is really on the edge and when john asked bucky so uh, what bucky's you really close on the edge and bucky's tuned him make happy I go off on the edge to live so he he was a really absolute. Uh, I didn't catch a, what he great said there. Gentleman was that a, a great servant of South that, Africa? That was in English, we, right? We are going to miss a massive, massive part of South yeah. African rugby. The combo started for the Springboks a world record 63 times, and were a massive yeah. influence on the success of the team for over a decade. I never took Crazy. over the team at the Bulls uh, where we all started, and we just we uh, worked our our butts off uh, uh, afternoon in and afternoon out and everything worked out and uh, they backed the combination uh, uh, especially Heineke for, uh, for a start for a lock combination backed me and Victor and from there on it uh, just uh, went on till today. It was quite a long career and we changed a lot of things uh, the way we played and there were each guy individually as well where in the beginning years I was probably more of a ball carrier Bucky had a lot of speed as well mm -hmm. and uh, we changed our games as we got older but um, yeah just just always unbelievable to have, have him there next to me. The nice. pair achieved everything on offer in rugby domestically and on the international stage. Their trophy cabinet boasts the Vodacom Cup three Curry Cups, three Super Rugby titles, a mm -hmm. British and Irish Lions Tour trophy. Damn. Has won the game for South Africa. <laughs> the Springboks snatch it. Just quite extraordinary scenes at Loftus. Two Tri-Nation victories. It's over. Tri-Nations Tournament. And the crown jewel, the IRB World Cup. Yeah. They're about to become world champions. Nice. Just as England did four years ago. <laughs> right on the stroke of full time, they kick it into touch. Nice. And John Smith and his team <laughs> are the winners here in the Stade de France. Thanks, South Africa <laughs> are the champions. Wow. In 2011, Boerter made the move to European rugby and joined Toulon, mm. where he won the French Top Toulon. 14 and the Heineken Cup, making him one of the most decorated players in uh, rugby history. Okay. So he won pretty much everywhere he went. Toulon, Toulon. go into a very exclusive club. 
those who have retained the Heineken Cup. <laughs> Bucky's Buerta's contribution to the game of rugby has been immense. Bucky's Buerta, and that's a big moment for Buerta. His first touchdown in a green and gold jersey. <laughs> Nice. Climbing the ranks. Um, you know, it's, uh, I've coached Bucky since he was 20. Very, very happy about it. You know, the type of man he's turned out to be in his integrity. Powering the spring box forward. Well, there he is, Bucky's Bortha. 50th test cap tonight. What an achievement. Kiwis love this guy. He is so physical. Has he got any weaknesses, Cobus? I think he's, a, he's a, the, the sort of heart of the scrum. He gets the, the back and forwards going. I think his physical presence is very important. Inspiring the next generation. He passed on a lot of his experiences to guys like Elizabeth Peter Steff, De Toy, Lut Diago. Yeah. So he's had a fantastic career. Yeah, he, he mentored, mentored the future me guys. Yeah. Particularly, you know, and for Peter Steff and Lut, he's, you know, the we as juniors really looked up to him. He's a phenomenal person, you know. So to be mm -hmm. in the same even room as Bucky's Bertha was was a great honor for me in my rugby career so far. A highlight. The only negative is is that I didn't play long with him. I mean, mm -hmm. every since he came uh, last year to Wales. Uh, I sat <laughs> longer around the dinner table to you, listening to his stories. I mean, an awesome yeah, guy also good. on the field, a South African legend. Yeah. The enforcer. So, so they, they did play together for a bit, I guess. Were, were they ever... Were they, like, ever, like, uh, number four and number five beside each other? I forget, I forget what, what number Ed Smith was. Is he four or five? Yeah. Let me know. Let me know if they actually like lined up beside each other in the lock position. One thing about Bucky's was, uh, you know, he brought a lot of physicality to the to the game, and I think every time when you go into those rocks, you always have to look hard and make sure that he's not coming because <laughs> there's no guy in the world that can clean a rock that like yeah. you know, oh, Bucky's kid. So I think you know, he, he was a tough guy and uh, <laughs> you know really uh, uh, a physical uh, presence on the field. They're all just having fun. We were playing Wales, and he came back. They're always just injury, laughing at each other. Achilles or something. He, has, he didn't play for a long time. Eventually, we got to the press, press conference, and they asked him, so uh, uh, does he think he'll only play um, 20 minutes or 30 minutes? Or And, and in his Afrikaner English, um, like mine, um, he says um, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, 50 minutes. I don't know how long I'll play, but I promise you, the Welsh will know that they played against Bucky's Boat. <laughs> <laughs> I remember very, very clearly my first game for the Sharks uh, in, uh, in Sun City and my first uh, first uh, uh, scrum, Vite hit me and Bucky stood up and he just went, uh, welcome boot. Uh, <laughs> and I remember that very, very well. Uh, I must say, uh, the one player our most respect in, in South African rugby was Bucky's Buerta. Mm -hmm. um, Buerta. For the person Bucky's he was, Buita. for Buita. what yeah. he gave to the, to, to the side. Uh, his athletic ability was just, just incredible. And, and, and mm -hmm. in a sense, the prototype of what the four lock in world rugby should be and how he should play. The best thing about him mm -hmm. is that he never got any less hard as a man. With all his achievements, he stayed humble and is a wonderful That's ambassador good. for the game. Nice. You know, you'll definitely be missed. Uh, you know, I've been coaching him for quite some time, but I'm very proud of the type of person he's, he's, he's turned out to be. Uh, uh, you know, it's a very, very sad day, mm. but there's a lot of youngsters that will stand up, and uh, I know we've uh, got one more supporter. <laughs> nice. Okay. All right, so that was, that was my reaction to Backy's... Ba ba Backy's bo Bota? Bota? something like that I, i'm like i'm, I'm I, I can't say it properly i don't think it's it's not working with my <laughs> with my uh with my mouth yeah but no that was, that was actually a really good video I, I thought that was gonna be like a highlight video but it was more like an actual it was like i basically didn't have to do the wikipedia stuff that video he, it was just like a nice little like tribute like story thing and just talking about how good of a player he was and like some funny moments about him and all that so yeah that was good if you have any other videos like that let me know um for other players because I, I definitely prefer watching those because you can only do so much with highlights right like but no yeah that's awesome um comparing him to like ed smith ed, ed smith seemed more like a that's what seems scarier, I guess. Just yeah, he looks a bit scarier, but I guess yeah, it would would uh, would boat boat, oh, man, bota, would bota be? Uh, he, he's considered better, right, than Ed Smith, I'd assume. 
but is Esbeth like comparable, like like uh, like all time wise? Are they? I guess Esbeth is on the team that won two Rugby World Cups, so he might actually be up there. Who do you think would be considered better by the end of their by the end of Esbeth's career? I'd be curious to know that. Um, I guess yeah, well, we'll send it there. Uh, thanks for watching. If you're still watching, uh, make sure to sub if you're enjoying the videos, like the video, uh, comment anything you want me to check out, or if I missed stuff in this video, um, yeah, just let me know. Uh, yeah, see you guys.